What's up, everybody? Welcome to Cracker Hunters, Carolina Hitman. And I am Anubis. And we got another side soul release for you today. And uh, today we're going to be doing another uh, Pacific Rim based statue. And today we got Knife Head. Knife Head. Knife Head. Mm. Uh, Category uh, 3 Kaiju. That's right. This is actually the first Kaiju they, they fight against. Oh, uh, Gypsy Danger fights against in Pacific Rim. Yeah, you see, uh, it, was, it was really the entrance of the Jaegers, too. You know, it's just really cool. Right. Well, no, no, no. They actually introduced the Jaegers before that. You know no, the I mean, backstory. like, you see, the back, you see, like, the actual fights. Right. Yeah, so this is the first one they fight in, in uh, Pacific Rim. Yeah, he and said, yeah, he was like, you know, in a Jaeger, you can battle a hurricane. Uh, too bad they couldn't battle knife very well. Yeah, not very well. <laughs> they they win, yeah. but not not very easily. No, because someone dies. Yeah. Spoiler alert for anyone who has not watched it yet. And this <laughs> this knife head statue, man, is just pretty yeah. fucking awesome. This is actually for me. This is the best one out of all the Pacific Rim line that Sideshow Collectibles had done um, during the whole Pacific Rim run of that movie. Um, this is actually the best one for me. This is the best looking one out of all of them. And I think, like me and um, Anubis were talking before we started rolling, it's because it's simple. Like we, had, we did a review on Jason, and the simplicity of that statue brought to me enhanced it. This is the same thing for Knifehead. But yeah, I mean, it may be simple too, but there is a lot of, lot of detail in it. That, yeah. You know, that's, I mean, just in like the skin. Uh, Texture and like even on this uh this uh this front this the part ridge. right here yeah I guess I guess I don't know what that nah, is. I'm just calling it the ridge <laughs> yeah or or just the knife blade on his forehead I mean it just see I mean you can see the little striations and stuff like that they did with it and the paint application is actually really cool because you can see it right here right I love that they did the yellow the the lines um, all over his body let me turn it around and for y'all where you can see the yellow the yellow design that they had going across the arms and the tail and some of the leg, they actually did a really good job on the paint application. Yeah. And from our previous review on Striker Eureka, where, where the paint mean, application... Uh, Gip uh, Gypsy. Uh, uh, <clears throat> Gypsy yeah. Danger. Gypsy, um, Gypsy Danger, where the paint application was atrocious. This is like the complete opposite of what that was and what the paint application should have been. And um, I wanna, I'm going to go ahead and turn it on for you. Plus, this one lights up. Which, which is, I think, is our main complaint about every statue they ever make. <laughs> not all of them. Yeah, not all of them. <coughs> but, like, <coughs> excuse me. It's a big complaint on a lot of statues, but this one lights up, and this one came out six years ago. Yeah. Why can't they do it more? I agree. I'm not going to lie. Especially some of the ones, like the Predator one um, that we have up there, by the way, the. Either one of them. Yeah, any of them. Yeah, that was what the, uh, and that's what makes me mad, man. And the hell priestess too. You yeah, know, that'd been cool if they lit her up. I know, man. I'm, and and it, I'm like, it doesn't seem like it's that hard. No, it, I mean, honestly, yeah. Because if they can do it for the mouth or this one, I think they can do it for more. In the base. Yes, and um, the lighting feature actually enhances the base a very good deal because it helps simulate the water a little bit better. Yeah. So I, I think the light really helps out. And I know the, the, the lighting feature only works for the mouth itself and not the eyes, but still, it's it still lights awesome. up. Yeah, yeah, it lights up. Exactly. So, I really like the, well, you know what, let me, let, I talked a lot about, about the Gypsy Danger. I'm going to let you talk some on this one. What, what, are the, some of the, what are some of the things you like about this one? This one, I, I love the way that it simulates a, a shark. You know, I think I think they did that just because, you know, it comes out of the Pacific and, you know, there's a lot of sharks out there. And for me, I think it looks a lot like a Mako shark rather than what everybody else would say would be like a great white. That's what I said. Well, we, you know, you, you look at a great white and it's got a really broad head, but this one's got more of a point, like a knife, which a Mako kind of cuts through the water just like a knife. And the blue... The blue and then the the, uh, the teeth protruding. I guess that would be another thing that people would say great white has. Yeah. But a mako has that too. All sharks have that. Yeah. Though. No, not all sharks do have that. No, not all. That. Yeah, you're right. But like the big ones are the makos that have that. And, and you know, you, you got your little boat right here on a base. That's a salt truck, I guess. I guess yeah, that's salt the name chuck. of it. Yeah, salt, salt chuck. chuck. Yeah, salt chuck. Salt chuck. That was uh, the the fishing boat in the movie you know that was i thought that was one really really cool feature that they had that they added to this base and 
you know, bases, when it comes to a base, you know, you really don't look and think about it too much. But then when there's one that's really awesome, it really stands out. Yeah, and, I, and especially the water, man. I think they did yeah. a really good job. I'm going to turn this off the right quick. The white caps and stuff. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, so I'm going to turn it off so you can see a little bit better. Yeah, the white caps on the base, man. They did a really good yeah. job simulating water on this one. And yeah. That, yeah I Dirty see. ass and white skin <laughs> water. Right. Because uh, this one actually, I think Knifehead was attacking Anchorage, Alaska. Um, well, he was on his way to attack yeah. Anchorage, Alaska. I think that's where the base was, too, for the, uh, the Jaegers. Yeah. Actually, I think it was closer to Japan, wasn't it? Well, that's all like right. Yeah, there. yeah, yeah, yeah. That's yeah, true. But um, but yes, I, I for me, I like the texture of the skin too, man. So, so what does the texture remind you of? That's a good question. I think the texture reminds me more of a. Whew. I would say a turtle. You know what? That's actually. I was. I wasn't sure if that was what. I, what I. Th what I was going to go with, but now that you say it, I think it does give you the texture of a turtle more. Well, it, you, you know, like, a turtle is one of the most ancient things on the planet. Yeah, and, and it does give you that leathery, yeah, and that's what, yeah, you know what, now that you say turtle, it does give a pretty good leathery look as far as the texture on the knife head. Yeah, so that's actually, yeah, I can go with that, you know, and, more turtle look. Except for, the, except for the tail. The tail reminds me of a, a moray eel or something like that. Yeah. You know, and you know, that's the fun thing to talk about these kajus because you know, they said they, they like in the movie, they said they tried, uh, the kajus tried to uh, change the, or you know, inhabit the planet first. They tried it with the dinosaurs. And now that we've pretty much terraformed it for them, it's perfect atmosphere for them. Right. And for them to use ancient kind of stuff like that, it makes it look even better, it makes it sound even more, more like it could happen. Right. And I love, and for me, man, I love. The forearms. Yeah. Yeah, that's pretty cool. Like, I, 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 I just don't know what you would use the two little arms for. <laughs> right. The nubs. We'll call them that. The nubs. The, the little arms. <laughs> but yeah, I, I really like the, the look of the fingers and the way they have like the little sharp blades. On, like, not, well, the sharp fingernails like on each one of the hands. Claws. Yes, yes. So you can tell, man, these things can cut through something if they slice through. Which, I mean, you saw that they yeah. did in the yeah. movie. Well, you know, I, no, no, in, um, in Gypsy, um, in Pacific Rim, he actually uses his head. To a cut lot the more. arm off. Right. But he uses his hands to grab it and, like, squeeze the oh, metal. You know what? That's true. Yeah, you're right. So, I mean, this one, man, like I said, for me, out of all the Pacific Rim line, this was my favorite one. Just for the simple fact, man, that it... it it really it's simple. It, yeah, it's simple, yeah. And we I was talking about um like the Jason review where some some statues don't require a lot of detail and and um ex, what's what I'm trying to think of the word I'm looking for, but I can't think of it right now. I'm sorry, sorry audience. I can't excess. Think of it. I don't want to say excess, but um Intricacy, yeah, yeah intricacy, intricate. yeah, yeah. It doesn't really, yeah, I mean, no. a giant beast doesn't beg for intricacy. No, it doesn't, I, especially, well, I think that if they're going for a lot more detail when they make the statue, it does require some intricacy when they put it together. Yeah. But um, Knifehead, man, it was, it was a pretty, it was the very first one, so I, I don't think it had to be that intricate. You just wanted to see a big giant monster attacking a, um, a big giant kaiju attacking a, a Jaeger. A Jaeger. But, um, but the thing is, even though it's simple, it still has a lot of detail in it as far as the skin. I mean, his mouth. Yes. Just look at his mouth, man. That looks awesome. What the, the, the fang or the, the shark teeth, I guess. Right. And, you know, the way it opens up, you can see it kind of like uh, the wrinkles where, where uh, his jaw protrudes. Yeah, so, I mean, they did a really good job on this one. Yeah. And I love the eyes and everything like that. And so, I don't know if, any, if you haven't seen Pacific Rim. I really recommend watching it. It's, it's a good throwback to the um, old school like Gundam movies and stuff Monster like that. Monster movies, Godzilla. Yeah. Right, uh, old, old um, kaiju Kong. movies, yeah. yeah. But I, I, I think for me, man, if you watch it, you can tell that they were throwing back to a lot of the old old like Gundam, old school Ultraman. shows. Ultraman. Ultraman and stuff like that. You know, I think they were throwing back to those. N not so much as the Godzilla and stuff, but for me, anyway, when I was watching Well, it, when, when I'm looking at the monsters, I think it like Godzilla, but when I'm looking at the uh, the mechs and stuff, yeah. I'm looking at like Gundam. Yeah, exactly. Like Ultraman. And, you know, it's 
pretty much half of it's either in China or Japan. Right, exactly. Or a lot, no, none of it's actually in Alaska. No, it's not. And it's like the very got, first five minutes of the movie, that's it. Well, you got another one that's in Australia. Right, yep. So, I, I, so for me, man, I think that's what, why the movie, people had some complaints about it, that they didn't really understand a lot of the references and a lot of the throwbacks they were doing for the, like, for the old kaiju movies and old... Um, mech suit mech movies. Mech suit. Not even mech suit movies. Cause I don't think they made Yeah, TV shows. Yeah, TV shows and anime movies like that. They were doing a lot of throwbacks to that and a lot of references and... and Not throwbacks. What's the word I'm looking for? Um, uh, retro. Uh, uh, um, uh, uh, homage. Yeah, I yeah, think that's what it is. Yeah, homage. Retro. Yeah, so they were doing a lot of that. And I think that's why a lot of people didn't like it as much. And the people who did got the references and got a lot of the, the things they were doing and a lot of throwbacks they were doing towards yeah. those movies. So, like I said, this one was one of my favorite ones, and I, and I really love the design of this, and of this he, kaiju. It's pretty, it's a pretty big statue. Too. Yeah, and it's got a lot of weight to it. That's another thing. It's, it's got some weight to it. It's just not a, a thin, lightweight statue. Yeah, I mean, statue. you're not going to, like, knock no. it over. No, this one is actually a, has a lot of weight to it, and I don't think... The only thing I think you had to put together when you got it, it's been a while since I've, I've taken did a lot of things with it, was the actual ship. That's the only thing that you had to put in there when you put it together. But for everything else, it came already put or, it came or the whole. batteries. Yeah, the, batteries. Or the batteries, yeah. But everything else, it came whole. So I, I think the simplicity and, of this statue really enhances it to a degree because the, it's, it, they're able to focus more on the actual statue as far as the paint design mm -hmm. and things like that instead of putting a whole bunch of shit on the on the base and and the statue itself they were able to do a lot more with the simp with the statue because it's so simple they were able to focus more on it itself. yeah i like the texture of the skin yeah and you know like right around his legs and even this that's even a cool little thing that they had yes you know, i mean i think that's awesome looking. yeah that's so i said this one was my favorite one out of all of them so I don't know which one was your favorite out of all of them, but this one was mine. And like I say, I just, I love the, he's looking at him right now because I got him down there. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's hard for me to pick because I mean, I like all of them really. I even like the, the Gypsy Danger even with the, the terrible paint job. But I, like I said, even, I agree. I, I like it because of the design. I just think the paint job could have been better. Right. And but that was it. But still, this one here, man, it's really. Yeah, the paint job on this was perfect. Yeah, like, it's just fun to look at. And, and you know what, they were smart even with the movie and the statue, they were smart to go with a color that didn't require a lot of... Lighting. Yeah, a lot of lighting and different shades or anything. Like, it, just, it, it picked a very simple, dark tone color, and it really fits with the statue. And I, that's, like I said, that's one of the things I really liked about it was the color itself. And I, I'll be honest, I, th I honestly think to the viewers, I think uh, Knifehead makes a reoccurrence or a reappearance in the... Uh, Pacific Rim Uprising. We haven't seen yet. Yeah, I haven't seen it yet, so I don't Man, know. Yeah, we're not going to go out in theaters and pay money to see it. You know, I'll just wait and rent it. Yeah, because I have no desire to see that one. It just, Guillermo del Toro is not really doing it, so I have no desire to see it. It's mm -hmm. just me. I got, a, I got a desire to see it because, you know, I just want to see what happens. Well, but. I'll say this. I have no desire to pay money for it. There you go. I, I don't think it's going to be nowhere near as good as the first one. Yeah, I, th I think Knifehead, though, does make another appearance in that in that movie. Yeah, because they are clones. Like you said, they were yeah. able to make a bunch of different, like a, a bunch of the same ones. Yeah. So it, it probably, it more, it could possibly be um, could uh, just one be of the kaijus yeah. in the second one. Yeah, it, or it just could be a, trying to be another rebellion. I don't know. We'll right. See. We'll find we'll out. We'll find out. We'll find we'll out. We'll eventually. eventually see it. Yeah. So like I said, I, this is one of my favorite one, front favorite statues. Um, from the Pacific Rim. Not world. even just from the Pacific Rim, just in general. This is one of my favorite ones that I own. I th yeah, the simplicity in it really does really bring out all yeah. the other the other aspects that you can enjoy from the uh, the sculpting, you know, of the actual monster. Right, like I said, the sculpt, paint job, um, design, everything, man, is just top notch on this statue. Well, I think that the paint job is actually really, really kind of simple. There's not much shading. No, stuff it's like not. That. It's just. And, and I think that with the movie itself, because it was in a night a yeah. night setting with this, it actually helps them be able to focus on have a, a, a one tone with more, the paint job yeah, more detailed of a sculpt rather than focusing on the paint yeah and that for me makes it worth worth the buy 
Yeah, and this one actually was it was again. I I wasn't able to jump on these when um, Sideshow released them. I had to get them when they came out um, through eBay after they sold out. But um, this is one of the ones that I'm gonna be honest with you. If you have the opportunity, because this one is one of the ones you can find on eBay, pretty pretty decently priced. Um, and I don't think a kid can break this one. No, no. It's, well, yes, they can. Yeah, it's all. I mean, if it falls off of like a three foot <laughs> thing, yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. So kids can't. Yes, kids can't break this. So make sure kids don't touch it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Tell them to get off your shit. Yeah. So um, this one that you can still find on eBay for a pretty decent price. I think I picked mine up for about four hundred bucks. Um, with um, I think I had free shipping with mine. As a matter of fact, I got free. I got lucky free shipping here. and handling. Yeah. So. This is actually still a pretty decent price if this is something that you like to own. It's still a pretty decent price on eBay. You probably can find several on eBay right now. Maybe not so much anymore. No, no, actually, I think you still can. Like I said, I think I checked a little while ago, and it's still, I still saw about, about five or six on eBay not too, not too long ago. Hmm. So I think you can still find this pretty easily. And if you can't find it on eBay, man, check some statue forms, um, statue, statue groups um, through Facebook. I mean, you can find, you can find this one. So, like I say, if you're able to find it, I really highly recommend picking this up. If you're a Kaiju fan, um, Pacific Rim fan. Or just a monster fan. Yeah, just a, exactly. Just a monster fan. This is a really good piece to have in your collection, in my opinion. That, yeah, definitely. So, um, if you get the opportunity, you got the money to throw away to pick one up, man, I, I highly... I highly Recommend maybe not throw away, but maybe invest. Well, not throw away, yeah. Invest, yeah. That's a better <laughs> word for it. Yeah, invest. We love uh, statue collectors. We love to hear that word, invest. Invest because it that's the do. lie we tell our significant other. Baby, we're just investing. This is going to be a worthy investment when we pick it up. Yeah, because it'll grow <laughs> in value. But um, <clears throat> I highly suggest picking this up. It's worth. It's worth it. But, it, uh, it is totally worth it because it is a cool looking statue. Yes, it is, and it's it's a worthy addition to any any statue collector's collection. Mm -hmm. So, we appreciate you joining us today. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you like the video. Um, don't forget to, uh, if, you, if you subscribe, if you're a, a subscriber or you subscribe for the first time, don't forget to hit that bell notification so you can get notified whenever we release new videos. Uh, leave some comments, let, you know, let us know how you feel about this. If you have it, um, let us know what you think. If, how, how do you, um, did you get a good paint application with yours what let us let us know your thoughts Did anything come in broken yeah uh, i which i think this one is actually one of the few ones i think would be hard to break something during <laughs> yeah. shipping this is actually a pretty solid statue so everybody just let us know what you let's let, let us know your thoughts but um thanks for joining us today i'm carolina hitman i am anubis uh from Kraken hunters we appreciate you joining us join us next time so we are out